Hello and welcome to our lecture in uh, environment and uh, ecology. Today's topic is about uh, bar headed geese. Goose is singular, geese is uh, plural, bar headed geese. This is one water bird which migrates from uh, Mongolia, China, and Tibet uh, to India. And um, it spends its winter in India and um, by the end of March or April, it migrates back to Mongolia. IUCN status, least concerned. But still why we are discussing this? There is something very important about uh, this bird. Lawrence Vaughan, a mountaineer, uh, he was scaling Mount Makhalo in China. You know that Mount Makhalo is uh, the fifth uh, highest peak in the world, over an altitude of 1,400 meters above sea level. While scaling the mountain peak, he noticed some noise, some sound. And he was surprised if that sound was coming from the stars. To his surprise, it was the bar-headed geese, which was flying at such a high altitude. Most of the migratory birds which migrate from the Central Asia, Siberia, or from Mongolia, or China to India, while passing through the Himalayas, generally these birds cuts the Himalayas through the river valleys or passes. Unlike these birds, bar-headed geese, it manages to reach an elevation of more than 7,000 meters above the sea level and it crosses the Himalayas. While coming from, while migrating into India, the vertical climb was not too much because the Tibetan plateau itself is located at an altitude of around uh, 3,000 to 4,000 meters above the sea level. So from 3,000 to 4,000 meters, it manages to climb a vertical climb of around some up to 7,000, 7,500 meters above sea level and then it descends down into India. From Assam to Tamil Nadu, we can see these birds in a number of freshwater lakes. There is one uh, bird sanctuary in Karnataka, Magdi Bird Sanctuary located in Gadag district. There you can see this bird. There is one lake next to Mysore, Adinaru Lake in Karnataka. There we can see, there this bird migrates. What is so special about this bird? When most of the birds cuts through the Himalayas at lower elevation, this particular bird alone manages to reach an elevation of more than 7,000 meters while crossing Himalayas. What is the environmental stress there in that particular region? It was not the cold temperature. The very important problem here is hypoxia. Hypoxia means very less availability of oxygen. So how this bird is going to acclimatize? In a very short period of time, it needs to acc acclimatize. Acclimatization means these are temporary changes in our physiology, which makes us to deal with any environmental stress, be it very high temperature, be it humidity, be it cold or heat. Our body has a number of acclimatization of mechanism. Similarly, every organism has such. How it is possible for this bird to cut through the Himalayas at a greater altitude? The two while coming from, as I told you, from China or from Tibet to India is not a big deal, but when it goes back from Gangetic Plain straight to Himalayas, nowhere the Gangetic Plain reaches an altitude beyond 300 meters above sea level. So from 300 meters to over 7,500 meters in a span of six or seven hours, for the maximum 10 hours. How it is possible to make such a vertical lift when air is thin? And under this extreme hypoxia, when oxygen is very less there, 
So what are the acclimatization which this bird is having so that it manages to cut through or pass through the Himalayas? The first important acclimatization is uh, uh, capacity of uh, the hemoglobin of this bird to extract oxygen at a low partial pressure. This alveolar partial pressure of oxygen is very, very important for the oxygen to diffuse from lungs into hemoglobin, lungs to the blood. So there is a particular partial pressure at which oxygen from the alveoli of the lungs can diffuse into the blood, diffuse into hemoglobin. But for this bird alone, it happens at very less partial pressure. Suppose if one particular bird needs 70 pascals of partial pressure for the oxygen to diffuse from the alveoli to the blood. For our bar headed geese, it happens even at 30 pascals. Then uh, mitochondria. We know once when the oxygen reaches the cell, mitochondria in a cell utilizes this for a number of metabolic activities. It is the mitochondria which will synthesize ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So mitochondria are located very close to the cell wall, very close to the cell wall. So that the time taken or there is the oxygen after reaching the cell, from the cell wall to mitochondria, it can travel a lesser distance so that it can reach mitochondria. So there is no need for it to travel for a greater distance to reach mitochondria within the uh, within the cell. So look at this is the bar. Look at the bar in its head. That bar like color right, that bar like uh, feature. It is because of that this bird is named as bar headed geese. If you say geese, it means it is a bird whose size is in between a swan and a duck. So apart from, I have explained two important capabilities. One is capability of all the hemoglobin to extract oxygen at a low partial pressure. Next is location of the mitochondria very close to the cell wall. Then now, uh, the cardiac muscles of this bird are capable of uh, producing extraordinary cardiac output. Extraordinary cardiac output. So as a result, it can pump more volume of blood so that more blood will reach the tissue so that the tissues will get oxygenated. Then uh, the number of blood capillaries. For example, in a given area, if there are 20 capillary for some bird, that same given area for this particular bird, there will be more than 40 blood capillaries so that so that more blood will reach the tissues. So this is what uh, which makes uh, this bird unique. So this bird alone is capable of uh, dealing with the extreme hypoxia, extreme hypoxic condition. In fact, uh, note it down, any altitude above 6000 meters, 6000 meters above sea level, is called as death zone. Nobody can live in this particular zone beyond 6000 meters. It is not possible for uh, any terrestrial organism, any organism on the earth to live. Even the mountaineers who want to scale the peaks, they will cross into the, they will step into this altitude and they cannot stay there for a long time. After scaling the peak, they need to come down. So one cannot live there beyond the one week or 10 days in this given altitude. There are number of military posts in high altitudes like uh, the Siachen Glacier. And even our soldiers, we cannot push them to Siachen Glacier instantly. There is a base camp called as a Siachen Base Camp where they will be trained for uh, three to six months so that after getting acclimatized to that particular environment, they will be pushed up to the Siachen Glacier. So this is what makes this bird unique. And it is a gregarious bird. It used to migrate in uh, large numbers. Once I was there in uh, the Magdi Lake in uh, the Gadag district of Karnataka. 
it was early morning 5 o'clock i reached there and was waiting for the bird to come one villager uh, he asked me sir are you waiting for the bird I said yes he said sir you were uh, too early sir please come after 8 o'clock i just had a small nap and then i went back at 8 o'clock i could see these birds coming in like uh, like clouds like clouds once i had been to this uh, hadinaru lake in mysore district and uh, one of my friend accompanied me who had uh, very less knowledge about the birds he kept asking me hey, how man i couldn't see these birds uh, in um, any place here how we are saying that it will be there only in this particular lake and it was a big surprise when i went there after just coming out of my vehicle we both could hear this sound yeah the bird is there inside you can see thousands and thousands of oh, these birds which migrates from uh, mongolia into india find then there are a uh, number of other interesting of uh, features which i'll be discussing in the subsequent lectures so guys i hope you are comfortable with uh, this one important bird bar headed geese bar headed geese or bar headed goose is singular geese is plural the, the uh, winter migratory water bird which migrates from mongolia into india and what makes it peculiar is this bird while crossing the himalayas it reaches a very high elevation of around 7000 or above 7000 meters and it crosses into or and it moves into or migrates into india so thank you let us discuss a uh, few other species in our next lecture thank you